guys, it's Nicole. Um, sorry for my manly voice right now. It's because I'm getting um, over or sort of in between being sick. So I sound like this. But also, I went camping last weekend. Awkward hair. Let me just go ahead and put this right back. Hopefully we don't get any more loose hands. Baby hairs, whatever you want to call it. Oh man, whatever. Whatever. Alright, I'm going to just tell you about my camping trip because I thought it was crazy. I go camping like once or twice a year. Usually just once a time a year, usually in March. But my brother is definitely in... Sorry, I'm like turning down the music because I want to make sure you can hear me. Mm, this is a pretty good song. Uh, yeah, I went camping for my brother's 23rd birthday, and, uh, it was kind of last minute type thing because I had work and I wasn't supposed to be able to go, but my work's awesome, and, yeah, I was just fortunate, and they just let me go last minute, or, like, yeah, so it was really nice. Uh, so Friday night I went, I left work at, like, 10 at night and drove up there. It was in Ventura. It's about two hours away from me. So we got there. I was kind of late. I was tired, so I went to bed. And then Saturday, oh my god, that day, Saturday, I thought I was going to die. February the 7th, oh god. It was actually on my number 7. It's like my favorite number, one of them. But yeah, so I went on a boat. Well, it didn't start off like that. My brother woke up. He went on the boat with his friends, blah, blah, blah. And later on, it was start pouring. It was literally pouring all day. And me and my boyfriend were just chilling by the fire under like a canopy. Canopy. <laughs> but yeah. And they came back. We ended up going back on the boat. So uh, we followed them the second time. My brother rented this boat. Literally no seats. You had to like bring your own chairs or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty slow. It was like 10 miles an hour. But yeah, it was like Lake Casitas, I think. It's a lake, but with a sea like name. And the scariest moment of my life happened. I was on this boat, and next thing you know, the boat starts going down. Literally going down. I see water going on to the boat. I'm like, oh my god, this boat's about to sink. I have a panic attack. Like in my like my heart's going, my legs are shaking. And then my freaking brother realized that someone didn't put the anchor up. So we were all pull pulling this anchor. This anchor was pulling us down. Luckily, me, my boyfriend, and one of his friends, Joe, my friend too, we ran to the back of the boat, Matt to one of his friends. We literally tilted that boat back up to make it bad. Once again, it was raining, pouring. The water was probably like freezing. I would not even want to felt that. It snows pretty much in that area around there. Scary, okay? I'm terrified of drowning. Terrified of drowning and terrified of dying in a car accident. Those are two fears of my ways. Two fears of Two ways I don't want to die. Two. Oh, my God, my heart dropped. Later on that day when we got back from the boat, my brother cooking, man, on the barbecue, he threw gasoline inside of the fire and it flew back and went, Psh. luckily I was wearing a hood jacket and the jacket had fur on it so it lit my, well like burnt my hair on my jacket and it literally burnt part of my hair on this side. Luckily my hair is still in good condition. But if I was not wearing that other jacket, I probably would have lost half my, like, probably, like, that much of my hair would have been gone. It would have been awkward if I just had that, especially since I have, like, blonde, weird hair. I don't know. Thinking about shaving my head, like, that's what my thought was. I'm like, I'm going to shave my whole head off if my head looks like that. So, yeah. And my face probably would have been gone. But for some, I was more worried about my hair. But yeah, my face would have been, like, yeah, like, melting. But yeah, that was my camping trip. Uh, it rained all day, Friday, Saturday. Well, Saturday it rained all day, and then Sunday I'd work, so I had to leave in the morning to drive back. And uh, I went to this gas station called USA Gasoline. They were so rude. I never knew, like, I knew people were rude, but this is your job, dude. Like, don't make it unpleasant for me, especially for me, because 
I will literally f freak out at you. Like, stop. Like, I'm your customer. That's why at work I try my hardest to make sure everyone feels equal. I don't know what that was, but yeah, equal. And they were so rude. I literally walked up and I said, hi, do you have a hot pocket, like, here? Because, like, I was hungry and I was about to drive and they're like, they looked at me like I was stupid. And I walked over there, walked around the store, and Joe was like, oh, they have hot pockets. I'm like, what the heck? Like, they couldn't answer my question. So I made it. And then literally I came back over and paid for my hot pocket, whatever. And then Joe, my friend, wanted to get, like, lottery ticket things, so we did. Or he bought them for me and my boyfriend and himself. And we did them. But before that, I didn't realize Joe was paying for them. So I swiped my credit card. And the guy was not even going to tell me that I was paying double. I literally was going to end up paying for something that was already being paid for. And the guy was going to steal my money. Yeah. So my weekend was being traumatized. My weekend was about people not caring about stealing money. And now I have a problem because I'm really white. And uh, going camping didn't help me. It just made me more white because there was no sun and I was like in the cold but yeah that was basically my uh, story going camping thank you guys subscribe scribe 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 guys scribe that's all that's all you gotta do scribe nah but seriously subscribe down below or wherever the button is give it a thumbs up because I would give you a thumbs up just for being yourself, who cares? You know it doesn't need a thumbs down. I'm just telling a story. You don't got to watch my story. If it's not worth your time, you could have flicked out, right? Right. So, yeah. Make sure you do that. And check out my other channel. Guys, please check out my other channel. I'm begging you. It's We Out Chia. W-E-O-U-T-C-H-E-A. Space capital letter X. Lowercase little X period and it's just a channel me and my boyfriend we're gonna make videos and stuff we already have some up there like him doing my makeup me doing his makeup q a video and just a random video up there of us so i hope you guys enjoyed and i enjoyed just doing this for y'all so take care you guys